take off and Quavo, how do you know a woman loves you for you? Like, how do you even date now, not knowing what people's intentions are? I don't. It's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> What you see? Do you know how embarrassing it is to have a man that pops bottles at the club? That's embarrassing. But you are the same girls that joined the section. Can I lie? Can I lie? Yeah, yeah. Tell them what you did, though. Tell them what you did. All right. So I had a girl and uh, and he's yeah, doing yeah, the yeah, most. Yeah, like. Yeah, tell the truth. Doing the most because I... You can get up on your words because you, 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 words cause you ain't No, you. because you're doing the most. You're doing the most. Are you seriously throwing my... Why are you putting all my stuff out the door? What are you doing? Okay, you're, yes. absolutely, you're not staying here. You think you finna disrespect me. Like I'm that. not staying here. No. But you, this is my house. But you finna leave. <laughs> you finna leave if you're not gonna respect me, though. That's what yeah. you I told you. I was honest. This is... What, look, and people want honesty, right? This is, this is what you get for being honest. The, the, like, are you about put my stuff the, the, down? I'm the, not going nowhere though. The little stuff you do have. But I'm you not can... going oh, all the little stuff I have. No, no, no. Really? Yeah. Really? Can, what are you doing? You. No, I, I can't, can't believe, believe you. you. Look at you. Look at you. Look, look, look. Insecure. I, insecure. I'm insecure. Your honesty is telling him that you were cheating on him? And did you expect a good reaction? Thank you so much for being honest with me about cheating on me. Just take this. Put that there. Go. Yeah. That is a man who knows his words. She said, this is my house. You gonna respect me or you gonna leave? You don't respect me? Now you can leave. What's your name? Isaac. Isaac, what do you rate me out of 10? I'm happily married. So I would not rate you. So. Okay, so if you had to rate me, if you didn't have a wife, come on. I'd have you one. Damn. It's a little desperate, that's why. So. The most important person in my life is my wife. So she's number one. So cute. Bless. You guys were talking about, well, what makes a traditional woman? One of those things is modesty. Posting photos of your ass on Instagram is not being modest. No, but I, I actually we're not get traditional, job. though. Do we're, not, that's, we're not traditional. Yeah. That's cool. But then yeah. enjoy your 50 no, no. 50 yeah, relationships. Then when someone breaks into your house, you guys can defend it. Uh, well, See, here's the thing. Like, this, is, this is one of the primary issues in modern dating. Non-traditional women want men to adhere to their traditional gender roles. You want men to be men, but you want to go post your shit on Instagram. You want to fucking fuck around and be loose and be promiscuous. I called like child services on this one. <laughs> I, called, I called child services on my ex because he pissed me off. And then I was like, yeah, I'm done with this person, whatever. Like, you know, cheater, fucking piece of shit liable dumb shit he had kids i called child services on his ass and fabricated everything and like said certain things and they like went to the door and like there was a whole process i don't even know what? if the children's aid worker still visits them but she probably does because what i said like the way i ai'd that shit you know like real what? ai shit like fake bruises type shit. be careful fellas yeah <laughs> yeah Pretty crazy. So you fake bruises, you fake shit, and then you just made like an exaggeration story, and then on their kid, on on his kids. Yeah. What? Like, so it, like yeah, and they came, and they were like, oh, like we're seeing stuff that your kids are being abused. You know, you could lose your kids. And I was just like, what the that sucks. <laughs> That's not yeah, should have been nicer to me, bitch. Even if he did cheat, even if he did lie, you take away a man's children, this is something that you should be put in jail for. And listen, this is why you don't play with hoes. Once you break a hoe's heart, she's gonna retaliate like that. This is what stupid women like to do. Take away your kids, destroy your life. That is a guaranteed outcome. If you are a man and you playing with that, can't even lie to you. Congratulations, you played yourself. Excuse me? Can I, can I try a pickup line on you? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, you know who you look like? Future girlfriend. Nice. Um, we should start a family. <laughs> idiot. <laughs> idiot. Oh, yeah, I know, but I'm your idiot now. So, oh let me. Men are so superficial. Would you date a guy that's shorter than you? Absolutely not. I'd at least 6'2. At least 6'2. Yeah. How tall are you? 5'5. Five, 5'5. Five. Five, five. Yeah. So 6'2. Six, 6'2 two, well, five, six, five, five, six, yeah. bare minimum. Yeah, I just like tall dudes. I got you. In modern culture, women are an antidepressants.
Women are depressed more than ever in human history. But if it's traditional, right, no matter whatever culture it is, you, you can't get out even if you want to get out. You can't get out because you're going to think, oh, what about my family? What would the culture mm, say? Exactly. Yeah, and that's, and that's better because that was when mothers put their kids before them. It wasn't a me, me, me culture. It's not about my happiness. It's about your kids. Your kid's more likely to go to prison. They're more likely to be in a mental institution. They're more likely to drop out of school. You're putting your kid at every statistical disadvantage you can possibly put them at by leaving. Every statistical disadvantage. But sometimes and, but it's modern, better. But modern women don't care because they care about their feelings and not the kids. But sometimes it's better. Most of the time it's not. Especially nowadays, most women are leaving for absolutely no good reason. I think I can find something better. Social media, everything has gone to women's heads in which they're not thinking correctly. You most likely won't get that top tier 1% man and now your kids are without a father because you wanted to selfishly go see if I could be like a 20 year old girl and get whatever guy I wanted and then at the same time be untraditional. It's just a lose lose all around. Mm. Is he toxic to me? No. Mm. He does what the f I want him to do. He's not toxic to me. Is he toxic to his wife and his kids? Absolutely because he's not well, Why are you dealing with a like wow. that, son? Shay, Shay, what the is talking about? How is that not that's your not business? business? Shay, 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 Shay. That's not my business. Bro, that sounds like, Excuse no, me. you're not taking Shay. accountability. That's not so, my business. Uh, so, 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 If he wasn't cheating on his wife, why is that my business? So, what you If he hasn't cheated on me and so, didn't feel like that was their business, man. why do I care if this man want to cheat on his wife? Man. Why, so, Eli? So, why, Eli? So, so what you be- Hold like? on. Why, Eli? Why should I care if this man want to cheat on his wife? <laughs> you can hear it in her voice. She knows she's wrong. The man is with you, claiming he wants to be with you. Yeah, he has a wife and kid, and you want to lie to yourself and say that this is okay. That kind of reaction is not someone who's happy or proud of the life that they're living. What he did to his wife and his kid, he gonna do to you. Have you ever been cheated on? Yeah. yeah. Do you deserve better? Yeah. yeah. Describe one point why you deserve better. Everything about me is 10 10. I need the best. So why did he cheat? Huh? Yeah. Drinking dope turned me to a superhero. Yeah. Question number two. Uh, to number one again. Do you know any good jokes? Uh, gender equality. Oh. <coughs> um. Oh no. Excuse me? Oh no. <laughs> can you can you just repeat that for me, number one, please? <laughs> uh, I think you heard what I said. <laughs> wow. Are you attracted to femininity? No. Why should a man be attracted to masculinity? There's some men who like dominant females like the I don't know, some niggas like power. So if they feel like you're gonna be hard to like get to and break down, they're gonna wanna fuck with that because that's a challenge. So, so a man should accept masculinity because he I don't know, I don't know what a man should accept. I'm not a man. I'm uh, a I'm a lady. I'm a girl. For me, I'm a lady, but you a you a lady you're attracted to masculinity. Yeah, like I I went around nigga. Right. <laughs> Uh, what you think men want? Real men want? They want a girl who's... They want a, nice a real woman, right? All right, then. Call your ex. She's not doing that. Dude, it's 100 bucks. Like, sign that big video. I mean, he's probably not even going to answer. It's fine. Are you mad, bro? Hello? Hey. How are you? Um, good. How are you? I was just calling to say hey. That's, that's so crazy. My mom brought you up the other day. It kind of got me thinking I miss you. What? Really? I kind of miss you too. Yeah, hang on. What have you been up to? How's work? It's good, just busy. Are you serious? Do you? I no, mean, no, you no. won. It's fine. Just keep your money. But like, do you want? Literally, there is no point in staying. All you had to do was call the ex, say hello, hang it up. Your boyfriend is right there. You could have just banged it on him and be done with it. But no, you outed yourself as a cheating liar. Big ups to him. Hope he gets a better girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, honey, uh, from work. Hey, bro, I think you should leave, like. Right, we're, just, we're just, I just have a friend. Oh, we're just friends. I just want to really talk to him at, um, at work, so he's, he's sort of... What? Sorry, I, I told you I was at home. I just, I didn't really want to get into it. I'm saying, like, no, I'm saying... Johnny! Oh, where are you going, bro? Hey, hey, where are you going? Hey, yo, where are you going? Where's he going? Johnny! Johnny! Uh, where are you going? Uh, you got... <laughs> he, he, he literally just didn't know what... Hey, no, come on, he's a co-worker. Oh, Why are you guys here? Look at him. Why is he walking away? Just leave him. Why is he walking away? He's in the front. Why is he walking away? He's in the front. Why is he walking away? He's in the front. Why is he walking away? He's
I was having problems at work. Bravo, you leave him. He's um um uh, mm, mm, couldn't even finish the sentence. You having a tough time. You don't run to your man? You gonna run to your coworker? Bye. If I invite a man to something and he says, sure, my brain hears no. Because what? what do you mean sure? It was a yes or a no. What is a brother supposed to do? Honey, can you take out the trash? Sure. Hey, you wanna hang out this Friday? Sure. That's no? The word assured. Take out the core of it, sure. The Collins Dictionary says, sure is an informal way of saying yes or all right. Oh, you look like Beyonce. What? I'm a single lady, I'm a single lady. <laughs>